to assign him to a teaching role this past Tuesday. Please welcome Marvin with his speech entitled, Come on, Mom, move your body. <laughs> Marvin Correa. my favorite activities, this physical activity. Today, I want to show you something that I've probably shown some of you that have been in the club for a long time, but I want to show you how to do a burpee. This is, this is how you do a burpee. First of all, I'll show you what a burpee is for those that have, that have not been acquainted with a burpee. What? Why do you know? <laughs> this is a burpee. First, you put your hands up, then you put them down on the floor, then you throw your legs back, come back up, and that's one. That's one burpee right there. Now, I know there's not much space and you're eating, but I want you to get up. Everybody get up. I don't think there's enough room for us to all be burpees. Let's do this. All right, everybody sit down. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I know, Juan was ready. Juan was ready. No, the, I'm not going to have you doing burpees today, unfortunately. Even though some of you were really ready. I know Michelle. And Michelle was really excited to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now the point of today's speech is to show you a couple of moves that, especially for someone that assigned me this role today, I need to teach her some things. <laughs> There's three specific dances that you may or may not have seen before. One is called height. The other one, orange justice. And the other one, floss. <laughs> so I will have my assistant come over here so I can teach her some of these moves that I will demonstrate and then I will have my assistants practice as well because what? I've been <laughs> I've been taught this dance by my younger daughter, my youngest daughter. So I want to instruct my oldest daughter on how to do it. First, let's start with orange justice. We'll start with orange justice. And my assistant, can you please turn on the music? Orange Justice, for your viewing pleasure. First, you, have, you put your feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna move side to side. Woo! And the nice thing about this is you can, now you can start moving your arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was fun. <laughs> Really easy. <laughs> That's our justice. All right. Now for my assistant, you not stop the music. My assistant, come over here. Ready the music. Do it. Come on, Leah. Right. Putting our feet shoulder width apart. I don't like that. We're moving side to side, and there we go. For a little backstory on that, there was a kid last year that submitted his dance to Fortnite, which is a popular game, and he wasn't selected. But his parents really, it went viral, the video, and they included the game, they included the dance because it was so popular. So that's a little bit of backstory on the orange shirt kid, which is 
how he's referred to. Next up, we're going to be doing height. First, I'll do go ahead and play the music. And you can dance these to almost any music. So first, with this one, I like to start with my kick. So do four, and then now I'm throwing some hand movement in there, son. Bring him up, David Watson. Floss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who here knows how to floss? Yes. Yes. I know what it is, but not floss. Not floss. The other floss. Let's play music. This one is pretty easy, I think, but it can be confusing. So we go here. We got two hands. Mm. That has a name. We all know what it is. We know the name. You're flossing. Flossing out. Flossing out. Flossing yeah, out. I just floss. And this one is from the a backpack kid that I have a red light, so I should be stopping soon. But I need to show her first. I don't know how to floss. You might go over, so finish it. We're enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Come on, one try, Alia. One try. Come on, yeah. <laughs> okay, one, just one time. That's the easiest one. Do that right. slow up. So right here, we're going, and then bring it, and then, then come here. <laughs> and then you go fast. <laughs> One of the nice things about getting an impromptu speech is that you can embarrass your kids. <laughs> and even more so, embarrass your kids in public. So, <laughs> one, as a final note, since I'm way over, <laughs> is make sure if you're a parent or if you have nieces and nephews, embarrass them on occasion. <laughs> It'll be a good memory. Mr. Cook.